Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, I'm gonna try to help you fix the error code 0x800704b3. This is a very encountered error code in Windows 10 that comes with uh, various different messages. Uh, but in this video, I'm gonna try to show you a very quick and easy solution to that problem. And that solution is to restart our PC in safe mode. Uh, as I've seen for some users, this error appears when they try to open up CMD or other programs. But uh, let's say we cannot open CMD because this error appears. We're gonna try to open up Windows 10 in safe mode, which is a Windows 10 mode that will open up only with the Microsoft services. and. Uh, uh, this way we can do changes to the system without being interrupted by uh, various other programs. So let's do that and in the safe mode we're gonna run two CMD commands because there the CMD should work and after we restart our system we should be good to go, we should not get this error anymore. So to open up Windows 10 in safe mode just go to the search box and type in here msconfig click on system configuration and then go to the boot tab and select here safe boot and uh, maybe you want to do network this way this the safe boot will also have network access this is for other things if you need your network connection but we're gonna stick with the minimal one and click on ok now just restart the system click on restart and the system will do the restarting process and we will boot up in the safe mode in the Windows 10 safe mode. We have the default Windows 10 boot menu or boot screen and now we are booting up in the safe mode. As you can see it says up here and in other sites that we are in the safe mode and also the resolution is changed. I think we don't even have the, the graphics card drivers and stuff like that but that really doesn't matter. What we have to do next click on the search box type in here CMD right click on CMD run as administrator uh, as you can see here in the um, safe mode we don't have the user account control we don't have to press on yes just right click open as admin and you will be in the this window and of course the two commands that we're gonna use you will have them in the description down below the first one is the dism.exe command which is something like this dism.exe space slash online space slash cleanup align image space slash restore health so this is the command. Of course, you're gonna have it in the description down below, as I've said, so you won't have to bother typing it in. So just press enter, and as you can see, the deployment image servicing and management tool. This is a process that is gonna take some time, uh, depending on your system, or depending on how much resources you, you have on in your system. But it shouldn't take uh, longer than five to 10 minutes if uh, you have a slower PC. And this basically will check your system, will check its most important services and we'll make sure that everything is okay and as I've said this process is made without other programs interrupting or interfering with uh, this process so this is why we're doing this in the safe mode because as I've said in the normal Windows 10 uh, we couldn't access the CMD so that was the problem and that was uh, what the error code was causing but as I've said you can get this error code in various other programs when we're trying to open up uh, services from Windows 10 and stuff like that, you can get it. But I found out this solution that is really simple to do. And if you're following this video, you should get rid of this error very fast. So after the first command process finished, we're gonna have to type in the last command of this video, which is sfc space slash scan now. Of course, this command will be in the description, get it from there, press enter. And this is basically a uh, disk check. It will check the improvement system files. Well, it will search for corrupted files, missing files and stuff like that. And basically will uh, try to fix any errors that it can find, any files that can uh, cause that error code. By running these two commands that I've showed you in this video, you should easily get rid of the error code that we spoke about. And after the processes of those two commands are finished, you're gonna have to go and click on the search box again, type in here msconfig, and we're gonna have to enter the system configuration, boot, and we're gonna have to deselect the safe boot in order to be able to boot up in the uh, normal Windows 10 mode. Click on restart, and for the restart, we should boot up in the normal Windows 10 mode. And as you can see, now we have the full resolution and the system checked for errors and other stuff like that. So this was the video for today, guys. If this video was useful, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe for more videos because we're getting closer to 3,000 subs and that is a pretty big number. And also, if you have errors or problems, 
write them down below in the comments. And if I can help you, I will respond to your comment or I will make a dedicated video for your issue or problem. I was Emmanuel from TechBased. Until next time, have a nice day.